Hey viewers, Fernando from SkyFi Audio. I recently noticed in the shop we've been amassing um, quite an assortment of larger speakers. And I thought I'd do a quick video on, on what options you've got. If you've got a large room, um, something you know exceeding a 20 by 30 area, um, giving you some options for, for both the, the style of speaker that you need and, uh, and the technology behind it. So, I've got about five pairs of speakers here. I'm going to just briefly go over and talk to you about sort of the pros and cons of each of the designs. Um, the, the biggest difference between the two sort of groupings are point source versus line array. Now, line array speakers, which is what I've got right here, tend to feature a, a very long planar area that has quite a few drivers in it. This happens to be a system from Wisdom Audio a company here uh, in the in the USA that makes um, some tremendous high-end speakers for both theater and uh, two-channel systems. Uh, this is the Sage series. So in these uh, towers here, you will find, if you were to take the grill off, we'd find a series of um, ribbon tweeters, uh, quite a few of them, probably about, about two-thirds of the way down, and then uh, a series of uh, mid-bass drivers in it. So the thought is as follows. Um, in, in a line array speaker, you're able to sort of transmit uh, the higher frequencies much further into the room if you use multiple drivers all stacked together. It's almost like the same sort of thing you would find in a concert setting. Uh, if you pay attention to the next concert you go to, there are quite often a very large array of speakers mounted to the ceiling or on the floor that do just that. They sort of are able to to cover not just near field but also pretty far away. Um, there's a significant advantage to that. The fact that um, unlike a point source speaker that has a single tweeter maybe located at ear height, um, that tweeter is responsible for producing full volume. Um, so if you get someone sitting near the speaker, let's say six feet away from it, they're going to hear it at a much louder volume than someone behind them. Um, and that's where line source speakers really truly shine is, is they're able to project real far into the room and you can have uh, a much more even uh, sound level. So let me tell you about this particular setup. This is the Wisdom Audio. It's a 3.1 uh, system, meaning we've got a, a left, a right, and a center speaker. You see it there. Again, these are line source speakers. This is the Sage series for, the, for these panels. And this is the woofer. And let me tell you, I've seen a lot of woofers in my lifetime. This is the biggest one <laughs> that I've ever come across. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is the model STS. Um, they call it a regenerative transmission line subwoofer. It's got dual 15 inch woofers in a very, very large enclosure. I don't know where you would hide this within a house. I guess you'd build it into the walls or put it into an adjoining room um, and then port it into the <laughs> into the room. So the port is here on this side here, as you can see there, just below the, the W logo. And a quick inside, you can kind of get a glimpse at the dual 15s that are in there. Pretty impressive uh, subwoofer. Now, because of the technology in here, you have to use the Wisdom Audio a DSP processor, which is the SE1 system controller, which, which we have here. And then the best um, amplifier to mate with these is uh, their three channel and the two channel, which is what we have here. So uh, you would use this for uh, left, center, and right. And then the one below it, which is a two channel, you would use for uh, left and right. So quite an impressive system. Um, these come in a, a different form factors. This happens to be on a pedestal, but there's also an on-wall version and an in-wall version. All right, moving on. Over here, we have some more line array speakers. Um, I recently did a quick video on these. These are the Macintosh XRT 2.1Ks. These are also massive, about six feet tall. And as you can see in the front panel, all the mid-range and tweeters are also in a line array configuration. Um, and the woofers are just below it. And you may ask how come they're able to put the woofers below these front panels? Well, base frequencies aren't as directional as we all think they are. Um, you can actually, as long as they're vented into the room, they're, because of the frequency of the range they're producing, uh, the front panels are really not in the way. So XRT uh, 2.1K is from Macintosh. 
Um, below it is a smaller brother, the XRT1 case, also line array system. Look at the crazy number of tweeters and mid ranges. And then two dual tens at the bottom. So this is essentially just a smaller brother to the 2.1K. And then below it um, is a vintage speaker. This is a cello Stradivari, uh, which is a top of the line speaker from the 1990s. Uh, early line array technology using some silk dome tweeters and wind ranges uh, and dual 12s for the bass drivers. Um, those tend to measure about seven feet tall. So obviously that'd be a better fit if someone looking to have more of a, a softer wood finish in their environment. All right, so matching center channel for the 2.1 case which is pretty massive as well. So you can potentially put a home theater system together utilizing the, uh, the left, center, right, and a pair of those for the rears, which is essentially the configuration that we got it from when we acquired them. All right, and then moving on to our larger speaker in the shop, and one of my favorite, this is the Dunlavi SC6. This is absolutely huge, not just about, let's see, this is, I can barely reach the top of it. It's about six and a half feet tall, but the cabinets are just monstrous, uh, measuring a total depth of probably, let me give you a side view here. You can see the back of the left speaker there and the side profile here. These have to be three feet in depth and about uh, 18 inches wide. Uh, I think those are dual 15 inch woofers uh, in a mirror image, I'll line up. So you can see the, the point source tweeter in the middle of, of the cabinet, flanked by lower mids, I'm sorry, upper mids, and then mid-base drivers, and then above it, the woofers. So you can see the configuration is, is essentially a mirror image. Um, these are not line arrays, of course. Uh, even though they have a ton of drivers, you can tell they're in fact point source because there's a single tweeter um, flanking the middle. And um, this would be more of like a sit down and listen configuration. So this is more for like a listening room or a recording studio or something of the like, while the line arrays are better for a much more flexible layout. And um, I actually have a set of line arrays in my second home. I have um, a, a Wilson setup. Uh, I'm sorry, a wisdom setup utilizing several of the of the Sage panels. I actually have uh, four of them with two subwoofers that built into the wall and they're absolutely tremendous. Maybe I'll do a video on, on that as well. All right, over there are our Jadis. That's again an audio file speaker. That's more of a sit down speaker, uh, also large, capable of filling a room probably about 30 or 40 feet. Um, because of the large base cabinets. And uh, I think that covers it. These JBLs we've talked about before. There's a, a studio monitor speaker. And, uh, and that's it. That's all I got for you today. A, a quick rundown of our large speakers. Uh, SkyFi Audio online. You can visit us at skyfiaudio.com. We can see about four or 500 products both vintage and modern and uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos thank you